The World Health Organization has issued a new statement on undetectable viral load. I talked to Dr. Lara Voinov from WHO to find out more. So for thinking about uh, viral load test results, there are three categories. Um, can you talk us through those? Certainly. So the first category is the undetectable category. That's now being defined as not detected by test or sample type. And that includes pl traditional plasma lab-based testing, as well as any other alternatives that are WHO qualified, like point of care testing, direct blood spot samples, and others. And the benefits there is effectively, there's no measurable virus in any of those different assays. And we feel very comfortable now to be able to say that there's zero risk of transmission to your sexual harbors. And you have undetectable viral load. And there's minimal risk of mother to child transmission. And the next category is the suppressed category. And that's when the viral load is detected but equal to or less than 1,000 copies per month. There's some virus, it could be due to missing doses or a recent treatment initiation. And so with that category, we feel comfortable based on Lancet systematic review that there's almost zero or negligible risk of sexual transmission. I mean, how many people with living with HIV are in that second AMBER category? Uh, in the suppressed category, we see about five to 10% people living with HIV having suppressed viral load. But that can, of course, vary depending on the country. And the third category? The unsuppressed category is when people living with HIV have a viral load that's greater than 1,000 copies per ml. That means they have significant virus circulating. And it could, they could be at risk of falling ill, as well as transmitting HIV to their sexual partners or, and or children.